well. The Quilting Academy is two years old. It's sort of naturally grown and evolved whereby we do some projects for ourselves and that we do an awful lot of projects for charity. But to begin with, we encourage people to work on a charity project and often a small quilt is an ideal thing to start with because it's an achievable goal. And one of the small quilts we start on is an incubator quilt. We have built up a relationship with King's College Hospital, which is just around the corner. So it makes sense to do our good deeds and donate our quilts to our neighbour. So King's neonatal unit is um, a level three unit. So we primarily care for very sick term and preterm infants and all of our babies now who come into intensive care get an incubator cover. But they help parents sort of identify their own baby, they are individuals. So in a busy intensive care environment, a mum or a dad can walk through the door and go, oh, there's my baby, I can locate them immediately. Elmwood School became involved because Angus, one of the trustees of the house, um, I think plays tennis with one of the Elmwood parents. Well, my dad works uh, with like clothes and fabrics and stuff. We have access through our company to get lots of spare uh, fabrics that maybe they could be utilised in Bell House. She heard what we were doing at home um, and she wanted to do something from her spiel because um, it seemed like a, an interesting project for her. Um, so she started making a PowerPoint after we'd spoken to her about the work that Bell House do with the Linus project and how the blankets get into Kings and the need for the blankets so that the babies can grow purely off her own back, nothing to do with us. She took it to school, I think in the first instance, just to show her teacher what she'd been working on privately at home. Um, and the teacher was just so impressed and so infused by what was on the video that she said, let's get the year group involved. So during the summer, the whole of year six came. The children were really excited to actually be making something uh, and producing something that could actually be used um, to help premature babies. It's just very exciting to be in a really nice place, a nice location with uh, so many helpful volunteers that were willing to give their time. Each student worked with us in the workshop and each student produced one, two, three squares, depending on how fast they worked. Um, and we then stitched those squares together um, to make a finished incubator quilt. The icing on the cake was that we were then invited back to the school. We took the seven quilts that we'd made and we showcased them in assembly. And each of the students was allowed to come to the front they picked up a certificate to say that they'd been part of the projects and then received applause. Well, the quilts, I think, have been an enormous bonus to the unit. They are such a bright um, and positive introduction to the baby. Um, and they've really added to the atmosphere in the nurseries, which can be, as you can see, quite tight and quite intense. For us as nurses to be able to give something like that to the parents to take home and that even to keep the baby nice and calm during their stay. It gives us a heartwarming feeling. And also it's very nice to uh, see the community involved in participating in looking after their own community. So it's good for the community. They're involved and they're engaged with us. They have been very supportive. My little boy Louis has been here about five months. So Louis um, came straight into ICU when he was born. When I first came over to the ward, he had a beautiful quilt cover on his incubator which was lovely and it did make a real big difference it's it made it more personal so things like the covers anything like that just makes it that little bit nicer it's just a little touch that you know you appreciate acts of kindness like that yeah it's, it's a project which gives everybody a nice feeling it's our community and we are reinvesting in our own community which is great